nice day, I guess, for your first day of spring ball. Just talk about the excitement uh, getting back here out, out here on the field. Uh, yeah, everyone's really excited. We have a great, uh, great day to be out here. Uh, nice weather, and uh, our kids finished up strong in the weight room and had a great testing the last two days. And uh, uh, now, now let's get to, down to business and get out here on the field and see what they can do. Now, I'll be in shifts and helmets today and for the first couple of practices. But what are you looking to see out here from your players in the first couple of days of spring ball? You know, the first couple of days in helmets, uh, just mainly the fundamentals, uh, working on the little things, uh, their fits on defense, uh, the routes on offensive side, uh, blocks. Uh, just the little things that we've talked about uh, that we need to improve on from last season. I guess, um, how important is it for the junior college guys that are transferring in to really get a grasp of the offense and defense early on? Well, it's important because now this is all new to them. And, and I think uh, for our freshmen that were here this uh, this last fall, it's, uh, you know, we're starting all over and everyone's learning and everyone's at the same pace. And so, uh, you know, everything's even right now, but it's good to have those new guys here and uh, get to see what they get to you know, what they can do on the field. And you kind of briefly just mentioned it, but, you know, last year the guys that were just right behind the depth chart didn't get, get as much playing time. How can they really impress the coaching staff early on? Well, I, I think it started in the weight room uh, with the gains that we've seen from uh, some of those guys, and now uh, carrying it out, they got to step up and, and make some plays and get noticed. And uh, we, we got uh, quite a few guys that are back, um, but these uh, younger guys know that this is the time for them to go out there and compete for a spot.